Okay, hi everyone. Thanks so much for coming. My name is Natasha and I work for Upsonic Power. I'm here today to talk to you, talk to you about UPS systems. One, UPS systems are uninterrupted power supply. So they clean the power and two, they provide backup. We've got a range of options uh, to, for all of your customers' needs of everything that they could use it for. Any customer that walks through that door can walk out with a UPS, whether it's for home, office, business, security, doors, medical, absolutely anything. If it is on a power socket, if it's got power coming into it, a UPS will protect the componentry, clean the power and provide backup as well. So we've got a bit of our range here today um, and I will start with the smaller units. More of our entry level units that we've got that's not here today is a GD650 LED only option. Uh, that is really good for Wi-Fi, networks, uh, smaller items at home, even small security cameras, cleaning the power and things like that. Um, then we move up to the Orion 850, uh, similar size in between these two here with eight power sockets on the top. So it's good for customers who have multiple things to plug in. Again, home office use, certain things like that. We move to this range here, which is our DSV series, domestic use. So very much computers, uh, home use, office, um, these will be the ones that walk out the door the most. Uh, depending on what you put on it is dependent on what backup that you'll get. So moving through with the rest of the range, the things that you need to size a UPS is you need to ask the customer what it's going on to or when you're selling it, what it's going on. Is it domestic? Is it something that we can put this or is it something that's a bit more critical that needs a true online option. So something like this, which we'll get into in a little bit. Then it's how many things need to be plugged in. What's the total electrical drawer of that? And roughly how long would you like the backup for? And then that will provide you your answer with which UPS you will go with. Besides the GD650, which is your LED entry level, and then the Orion 850, which provides its own with the eight outlets, the DSV range starts from an 800 and goes through to a 2000 model. Um, we did have the 600s, because I just saw your face. <laughs> we did have the 600s, but now we've moved to that LED option for it. Um, with these, these are just what they are. The backup is what the backup is. You can't add any additional battery power or anything like that. They're modified sine waves, so still very smart technology. But if they're powering a light globe, the difference between this one here and these ones over here, the light globe's gonna flicker slightly. This one here, the light globe is unwavering power. It will just go through straight away. Um, so all the way up from DSV 800 to DSV 2000, this is predominantly where most of your applications will be. We then move to an ESART range. With the ESART range, it's very similar to um, this unit here. It's a rack mounted unit. All of our rack mounted units do come with rack kits as well, which is a great push and a great sell for you guys. Uh, just depending on what application with what you'd use it for, but a lot of customers don't need the smart technology that these ones come with. So it's a good price point difference to sell and, and, and push the ESART range. If they do need, uh, that technology behind it, you would give them something like this, which is a CS CRT 1000. 1000 and 2000s are on a 10 amp plug, 3000s are on a 15 amp plug, um, and you can provide additional battery backup with it by supplying a battery box with it too. So just depending on how much backup your customer needs as to what you would pair it with. Moving on, if they don't uh, sit with the rack option, you've got the CSCT range, which is uh, again, true online. So powering that light globe, unwavering power and really, really smart technology inside of it. So this is the tower option here that we have. We've got 1K, 2K and 3K. Uh, we do also go up to the range of six and 10 KVA and higher as well. These have IoT software inside of it. So with a QR code, 
in the box, scan it, you can download an app to your phone. It is really, really smart technology. If you experience a power failure, you'll be notified to your phone just on a swipe message like you would if LinkedIn or Twitter or someone sends you a text message. So you can open the screen, go straight into the app. You can have as many people as you want on the app with as many products that have that software included on it uh, and watch it. So uh, good for multiple security locations and things like that. You will come up with a circle on the front of the screen and it will count down in real time with how many minutes you've got left of that battery backup. And if power is restored in that time, it also lets you know as well. The beauty with this software and why it's so different from other UPSs is it can run its own maintenance schedule program, which is such a great push. Any electrician, any maintenance person, anyone that is going to have to go back out to site again or wherever they have installed this product and look at it again or run a maintenance schedule or do anything like that, they now no longer have to do that. So time versus money with labor over the course of you know the next three to five years, it's paid for itself. So with that, you can run a maintenance schedule daily, weekly, monthly, yearly, whenever you would like. That will put this unit into an automatic bypass mode and simulate a power failure. So you'll get a report to your phone the next morning to let you know, hey, if you experienced a power failure right now, your UPS is running brilliantly, nothing wrong with it. Or please contact up Sonic Power, there is X, Y, and Z, which doesn't happen. So <laughs> they'll let you know what's happening inside the unit. And they also let you know the battery backup amount as well. So your battery capacity is sitting at 87%. So you'll go, I'll, I'll check that in six months time. Great, your battery capacity is running at 82% and you go, no, that's, that's pretty standard. So even though our units are covered by a three year inclusive warranty, UPSs quite often outlast that three year period. So it's not a swap, every three years we'll swap them over. And this eliminates customers needing to go out and, and manually look at what's happening with their units because they can see that in five years, they've still got 60% battery capacities and their units running fine and it will keep moving along. Um, so again, one to three KVAs. This is probably the one beside your domestic use, which will go on 80% of what you would be walking out the door, home use, office use. This will be the next one that pairs with most options, uh, security, doors, uh, anything in medical. Uh, again, the one to three KVA, usually the two KVA is the soft spot for most people. It will provide the most amount of backup there. If you do need to go to anything bigger, exactly the same as this, and you go to six and 10 KVA, but then they're no longer plug and play units, so they are hardwired in. If you find that your customer needs additional battery backup, so with these units, they come with batteries inside of them. If they say, okay, working on a one-to-one -one power factor, at an 80% load, you'll get you know an hour's backup and that's not long enough and they need eight hours. You can always get an additional battery pack with it, which we touched on before. Identical in look, size, absolutely everything just without the screen. It's just a shell casing that will sit beside it or on top of it or underneath it and uh, provide that additional battery backup support. Perfect. Uh, so, Outside of those units, we then can go to our really, really big stuff as well, which is um, more project-based and more specialised. But basically, there is nothing in the world that we can't power and no amount of time that we can't back up. It's just expectation versus reality. So a lot of people will come in and say, okay, absolutely perfect. We would love a, a UPS system for our security we'd like it for 24 hours. And that's fine, we can absolutely do that, but then expectations versus reality there with what we can do. Combating that, we can put a CSCT 1000 on those cameras with that software that notifies them. So if you experience a power failure, you've got an hour, do you live within an hour of the thing that you're powering? Yes, I do. Well, then you've got an hour's backup, you get notified every time and then you can make your way out there and then that's a more cost effective solution for that. Do you guys have people come in asking questions? What are some 
like who are your customers that come in and, and talk to you about UPSs or who are they walking out the door with? Mostly CCTV. See, with that as well, it's, it's, such, it's such an important sale to protect the componentry of that. When you're spending the money that you're spending on the cameras, you need to protect that componentry. With a UPS system, it's not just about the backup. It's about protecting the units that you've bought and extending the life period of them based on having clean power straight to it. Is there any particular units you'd like to know about or is there any? Not specifically products. QR code. Mm -hmm. Multi-site. You, can you group them? Yes. Okay. Yes, you can. Um, and as I said, as many people as you want on the app and as many units as you want on that site. But yes, you can group them. So they're MAC address filtered so they can tell this MAC address is this specific unit, etc. Yes, correct. Uh, it's also for Apple and Android. So we have both. Download. Anything else? Any other questions that customers come in and ask? Or Generally, run times has been, yeah, been um, realistic as well. So we can, you can, there's information on the website, isn't there? Yeah, there is. So if you go onto our website, you've got runtime charts that you can yeah. have a look at there based on what load and what capacity you would have on. But again, the biggest push would be anything domestic, anything in the office, you would be looking at something like this. And it would really be, say, POS systems or computer systems because you don't need to keep operating, but it would be very imperative to at least have half an hour, 15 minutes even, to finish exactly what you're doing so you don't lose all of that stuff and be able to shut down safely. For anything that's a little bit smarter technology, you would be moving to you know, this direction over here. The rack, very popular for AV. And the fact that it does come included with rack kits is a big push as well. Um, and then the IoT software, that's, that is our difference in the market space from anybody else. That software is included, it's free to everybody. Um, and it's the way that it's monitored is unbelievable. The, we have also released a Wi-Fi dongle, so you don't need to ha even have it connected by ethernet you can connect by Wi-Fi as well. If it's in rack mount, is it removable antenna as well then? I believe so. But yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, any other questions that customers have when they come in or anything that you've been challenged up against? No? Is there anything that you want to know more about these units to push them? Yeah. Really. Yeah. Other than that, you, I have the QI code kit. That's the yeah. only thing that's actually new to me. For yeah, correct. And the, and the thing with UPSs are they are basically all the same. It's the point of difference of these UPSs, which is the look, the feel, the three year fully inclusive replacement warranty, and that QR code. Uh, what's your biggest pushback with customers on UPS when they come through? And what unit are you putting on for something like that at the moment? 800 plus. Yeah, yeah, perfect. Absolutely perfect. You can. Yeah, you can also put uh, the GD650s, which will be um, releasing to you guys too. That's going to be more effective in um, cleaning the power to, um, to put in stuff and having that small amount of backup time for what you need. But predominantly what you sell, this is what you're looking at pushing out the door. Um, they're very, very smart units. It's still smart technology. They're brilliant. They last, you know, at least three years, but you generally get about three to five out of them, uh, which is absolutely brilliant for units that cost that amount of money. What about um, uh, bundling stuff in with customers or, or anything like that? Do they have any questions? Anything with the, I know we covered the run times, but... Really, other than can we get extra batteries, but that's, that's what 
Yeah. Because I know that I can answer that question. Like yeah, this and we, we, can, we can get extra batteries. Also, there is always left field or customers that don't quite fit into the box of what we offer. So there is other options of piecing stuff together for them, putting in larger application batteries. So we won't go for 12 volt 9 amp, which is in the majority of our machines. We could go bigger. I mean, we're, we can do 150 amp per hour or anything, mm -hmm. like absolutely massive. So, but then you're steering more away from security and, and things like that. A lot of your customers that come through, roll the doors even, they're these ones here. With that, we also offer phase change converters. So we convert power back from three phase to single phase to make it cheaper for customers rather than spending X on a big machine that needs to be three phase to operate that for you we'll, for a smaller price convert the power back with a device and then we can put something small like a domestic DSV series, which is a good push as well. But then again, it's just knowing your customers and knowing what they're walking in for that they can also leave with a UPS for something else. So whether it's a purchase that they've made before, whether you see that they live in an area that's just been affected by blackouts or floods or anything and you need to speak to them about protecting certain AV or... Um, anything to do with their Wi-Fi or even anything like that. Um, and these are really popular with that, with a lot of work from home as well. So just making sure that that's all steady connection. Um, anything else, any other customers that walk through, anything that's left field or something that you don't deal with every day, but was interesting and you didn't know how to answer? So with project-based um, jobs, I guess, I mean, we. we we can, I mean, obviously, ship direct if you guys ship direct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's another thing that we can do as well. We can ship direct to your customers. So they mm -hmm. put in an order, especially if it's something that you don't hold in stock here. Yeah. Uh, we've got a warehouse in every state in the country and hold a full line of, mm. of stock all the way from domestic through to, you know, 150 kVA and, and bigger. So generally speaking, it's same day ship out and customers will have it in one to two days. Mm. So... And if you guys place an order, you usually get it same day from us as well. I'll do that out to you. But you carry a good range, a good skew set over here. Um, any other pushback or any other questions that a customer has asked you that you've had to go looking for information or that you couldn't gather a whole bunch of information from? Because I am a wealth of knowledge. I can let you know while I'm here. No, no. <laughs> no, you're the UPS guy. Um, all right, perfect. So... Yeah, the thing with these units is everybody who walks in that door can walk out with one. It's just asking the right questions to see what they have, either at home or in business or what they've just purchased, that can go on it. Um, again, the clean power, again, the backup power, uh, the power conditioning, just the, they're brilliant units and they'll protect anything that goes onto them. But it's just working out what backup time you need. Did you want to know more about domestic, more about an ESART range, more yeah, about the IoT? Domestic, we, with ESART, we probably don't, we don't, yeah, we don't get as many. Uh, yeah, we'll yeah. 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 people coming uh, asking for them. But we probably need to know more about the ESART. Yeah. A, a lot of your sales with the ESARTs are historical customers that have previously purchased, you know, seven, eight years ago, and they've still got those units operating at the moment. Um, so then when they... Uh, are glitching or having a few problems and they'll call up and just replace for a like for like. But then that's that conversation and that's the knowledge around, okay, well, what are you powering? Because it might be the fact that uh, an IoT software, CSCRT, one to three K would be more effective in that solution. Or you'll go, oh, okay, it doesn't have to be a, a rack mounted option. You're powering a couple of desks at home. You go for a tower option. So it's knowing your customer and knowing where to push it. So the ESART range is line interactive, um, so it's not a smart click over true online unit. Um, both of them are absolutely brilliant. Both of them have uh, huge strength, huge qualities, and have the three year fully replacement guarantee. But the customers that you've got coming through for those applications, in my experience with your customers, are that they're replacing like for like of something that was sold to them before this technology was available. So this would be 90% of the rack mounted units that you will sell moving forward if a customer is willing and, and happy to change to um, smarter tech. But again, that IoT software is the huge push for it. It is so smart just to be able to monitor it and, and look at it that way. Because with a UPS system, you don't know that anything's wrong 
until something goes wrong with it. The smart ones with the screens, they will tell you as soon as they kick in that they're working, they do beep, they do let you know, and then it'll display on the screen based on what's plugged into it, how many minutes you've got left and what the load is. But then if you're not there, or UPSs are usually set into a back room or somewhere a little bit further removed, just to be notified and be able to watch that on your phone. Um, and a lot of people do just like to know what's happening with their electrical devices as well. So that's the biggest push for these ones here. Mm. Any other questions that customers have or that you have? Is there any plan for like, IoT support for the domestic ones? No, unfortunately. Um, you, I, you can modify them to do certain other things. It wouldn't really work in the applications that you guys use them for. So it's more um, uh, roller door use and, and uh, domestic roller doors and, and things like that, that we can change the structure of. Um, but with these ones here, with the software included, it is like a network card. Well, it is a network card inside of it that's included for free. But then you've also got the option to uh, put a commerce card in there as well, which is a completely different game changer as well. So then you can change things to do with lifts, uh, gates, talk to your system. So you're talking really smart uh, warehousing systems with robots that you know pick pills and do the things that they do, that they can talk and communicate with that system itself with that comms card. So. These are really, really smart. These are just more of an entry level price point that they are what they are. Any other questions or anything that you'd like to ask me? So with a roller door, 90% of cases, it's a CSCT 2000 that will go on that. Um, small commercial doors or uh, small domestic doors, sorry, you can sometimes put a DSV 2000 on it, but in most cases, it's this one here. Um, in that instance, if you let us know what motor it is, most of them are Griffco motors and they're tested on these units here. If it is a different motor or you want us to spec that up, we can. Um, but yeah, if we got it back and it was working, it's... Yeah, no, because um, it wasn't myself that did it, yeah. so I don't actually know what the whole story was, but mm -hmm. I know that it came back and went back a couple of times and then... See, with things like that as well, because we recently had a customer that called up to do the same thing. It's not working. We, um, you know, we sold another product like for like. He'd had it for eight, ten years, replaced it, sold another one, pushed that through. And then he was saying it's not working, it's not working. And I think oh, your spec might be larger than what you thought. And it just your old UPS just had stopped working over a, a period of time. And he kept saying, let me send it back, let me send it back. So what I advise to do is to go and grab something else, go and grab your toaster, go and grab your computer, go and grab something and put it in and let's load test it this way. And then we worked out that the UPS was working. So then the issue was the load that he was putting on to the UPS. Because that's the biggest thing when you're sizing up a UPS, one, how many things do you need to plug in, especially with your smaller domestic use items? They're the, go the ones that you're going to go, okay, well, now we need to put an Orion in or, or now we need to move up to the, okay, you want a smaller unit, that's fine, but you've got too many things, we're gonna have to put two in. So rather than go for a DSV 2000, we'll give you two 1000s and then it would power equally and you would have enough outlets because you cannot put a power board into them. So, <laughs> so it's how many things need to be plugged in based on the closest electrical draw that you can find. Uh, if your customer does not know what that is, a quick Google search can help. So, you know, uh, high vision security camera, you can type that in and see what that electrical draw is and, and roughly work that out. Um, and then how long they want that backup for. So based on the runtime chart on the website, you can see uh, with X amount of load put on, this is how long you will get. Um, otherwise, picking up the phone and giving us a call and we can work all of that out for you as well. Um, any other key things that you want to know to be able to push or to be able to sell or? No? Anything that you'd like to know, Joe, about any of the lines? Um, probably, uh, probably more the, the start range. Yeah, yeah. Um, the thing depth, I think the three amp 
Because a lot of the guys wanting the large, but the, the depth. That's yeah, cool. another another reason why um, ESARTs are sold as well is because they they're fitted into existing cabinetry that they already have, yeah. so they're 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 larger. Yeah. Yeah, and longer. Yes. Yes. So we had an issue once because we had the wrong specs. I think but yeah. That's okay. We're um, a lot of getting home on to that. Guys do, yeah. 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 Home automation, all your AV, everything like that. Th this will be your rack. But again, the smart technology. Mm is just imperative. It will last and last and last and you're able to check it. Yeah. yeah. Um, so besides AV, the domestic use, security, the doors we've covered, what other customers do you have come through? That's about it. Well, actually, no. Uh, disabled people going up and down those for those actually as yeah. as well, but nice common We have had a few people coming for UPSs for them, but Pretty much the same as your roller doors and stuff like that. Yes. A bigger one in because but you but you have to because you don't want to be stuck midway. So most of those uh, get put in at install. So it would be when they're um, you know just looking at getting cycled over. Yeah. So with that again, domestic two thousand or something moving up to the CSC two thousand, depending. Ones just yeah. Of what it's for. Yeah. 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 Um, anything else? Any other customers? Any other? No. Okay, perfect. Well, thank you for your time. You got no, no questions? No? Okay, thank you guys.